Okay, this is a, a tutorial video showing how to install XTCMS onto your website. The first thing we need to do is actually download the file. So if we go to the demo page uh, on the website itself, there's a link down the bottom there to download the trial version, which is what we'll be using in this um, demonstration video. I've downloaded this already, which uh, what you'll end up with is a zip file here like this, um, and you'll need to extract this zip file uh, onto your computer. So you'll then end up with a folder and inside that folder will be all the files um, for the CMS. Okay, so when you get to that stage, um, these files need to be uploaded to the remote server uh, where your website is hosted. Okay, so to do that we're going to use an FTP client called FileZilla, or you can use any FTP client, but um, this is the one I use. Um, okay, so on the left here, this panel is our uh, local hard drive, and on the right, this is the remote server where the website files are. Now, um, to upload the files, uh, simply just select the folder and in FileZilla now, uh, right click and click upload, and it'll start transferring the files across. Uh, and you'll end up then with the same folder over here in your server. And if you double click into it, um, you'll have all the CMS files all uploaded. Now, it takes about uh, 12 it's about 12 megs, sorry, and it took, takes about 5 to 10 minutes to do it on my connection. Um, so I've just done it in advance, but basically once it's uploaded, you, you know, you'll have a copy of it there on your server. Now, uh, the next stage um, is to rename this folder, because it's right now it's a lot of char unnecessary characters that's long and confusing. So I'd recommend just renaming that to something simple like CMS. Um, and that's it really. So the files are uploaded, uh, the folder is renamed to CMS. The next stage now is to log into the admin area. So if we go to our browser um, and go to the website where we've uploaded the, um, the uh, CMS, I've actually created a subdomain here test.xtcms.com um, and if we then go to log in. So to log in to the admin area, basically go to the, the, where we installed it, which is in the CMS folder, and then forward slash admin, and that will bring us to the admin page. Now it's telling us um, data directory is not writable, file permissions need to be set. Um, before I go any further, um, if you go to the web, back to the website, there's actually, uh, if you go to support and guides and tutorials, there's an installation guide, PDF file here, that you can uh, download or view. Uh, I've got it open here at the moment and it basically goes through the installation process uh, and it tells you what files and permissions need to be set and in addition to that if you go to the, uh, the folder with the CMS files there's a docs folder and in there is a readme file. Uh, that file as well contains uh, installation information um, and you know other information to do with license files, loaders and troubleshooting and other stuff okay but anyway basically you know between them and the video hopefully you know the installation process uh, makes more sense and is easier to follow okay so back to our uh, trying to log into the admin area we're getting this error message so you know if we follow the guides it'll tell us uh, that we need the directories that we need to um, uh, change the file permissions on so Going back to FileZilla, if we go to into our CMS directory, um, the first folder we need to do is backup. So just right click on it, file permissions, and give a full read write execute access, which is 777, and click OK. Um, you might, on some servers, get away with. Um, not having to do 777, but generally 777 works in all cases. So just click OK. Cache, same again. And the data folder, again, and the images folder. OK. So that's it. So it's basically uh, these four folders here have to be changed to. Um, full re, uh, read write access. Uh, you can actually do them all at once as well but anyway they're done now. Um, okay so once um, uh, the file permissions have been set um, go back to your browser and 
and try to log into the admin page again. So CMS forward slash admin. And there we go, the admin page is loaded now. Um, so that's it. Once you see the admin page popping up like that, the CMS is installed and it's it's good to go. Uh, from here on in, it's just configuring um, settings and getting your page templates imported and adding your pages, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go through any of that in this tutorial. I'm going to keep this tutorial just about getting to this point uh, where the CMS is installed on the website. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to do some more videos and that'll go into some of those other things. Um, but there you go.